Hey guys, in this video we are painting the llama couple. Uh, we've got the little boy guy and the little girl got girl. Blah, blah, blah. Sure, I can use words. Fabulous. So I'm just getting a paper towel. You're gonna each need a paper towel, your paint and plates. For shared colors, like the background, you're gonna probably just want to mix on one plate to make that color so that they match. But that's up to you, do whatever you want. And then a jar of water and then um, some few different size brushes. I've got big, small, medium, whatever you have, you can make work. I'm going to start with my background. So I'm going to mix up my color and it's just gonna be that turquoise color mixed with white. So if you want them to be identical on both canvases, just share. I'll just take some turquoise and stir in with quite a bit of white. Make sure you are mixing up enough to fill both of your canvases. So I have these little ones, these eight by tens that I'm painting on, just so that I can fit them both within the, um, the camera view. If I were on the big ones, I'd have to be a lot further away and you probably wanna be able to see what I'm doing that well. So I'm using these small ones. Yours are 12 by 16 more than likely. So something about like this. And then just go in and start filling in. I'm very loose with my paint. And while I'm working, while that's wet, just take white and blend it through so you kind of have this streaky effect. Doesn't need to be filled in solid. Um, as far as like all the same color, I like the little variation. If you want yours just solid, do it that way. You can do it however you want. I got a little on this bow tie there, whoops. Just be careful around the edges. So I just pick up some white as I go, just to kind of streak through. Doesn't have to be any kind of perfect. A little ear here right around just make sure you're getting all those little pieces of the canvas filled in you don't want any of those kind of peeking through so maybe I need a little bit more turquoise down here get my white and I just spread it around so I have dark spots and light spots throughout None intentional, like as far as placement, it's just how it's working out. So it don't have to be exactly like what I'm doing. I didn't go, oh, I want it darker there on purpose or lighter here on purpose. That's just what happened. Just how it came out. mine taped together just for the sake of painting them at the same time um you both be doing this I, not just this one they're going to be exactly the same i don't know if i specified that so i'm sorry if i didn't and you're just hanging out waiting for direction
make sure you're um, just having nice, thin, even coat of paint. You don't want big globs everywhere. You want good coverage. Um, a problem I see a lot when people are painting, especially if they've not done it before, they don't use enough paint and then a lot of the canvas will still be shining through. Like it looks real spotty. So just make sure you're getting paint down in all those little groovy things, all that texture of the canvas. It just, your finished product will be, you'll be happier with it if you just take the time to get all the canvas covered nice and even. I probably should be using a bigger brush just because this takes a, taking me a while with this little guy here. But it's what I have in my hand and I'm lazy. be too worried about the edge of your llama because we're gonna be like putting fur coming out the sides so he's not like super smooth so like any kind of weird like sloppy spots that you may get they're not gonna end up showing in the long run so don't stress yourself Do bear with me, um, as I'm painting this, I'm kind of just making it up as I go. I've not painted this before. So we'll see. I might change things on you. I might paint it one color and go, eh, I don't really like that. So <laughs> you're gonna be like, what? No, I won't do anything that drastic, but if I maybe do something like, I don't know on the fur i'll try it out and I'll, I'll tell you like hey don't do this yet let me make sure it works and i like the way it looks before doing what i say to do so this will be fair warning then you just wait for me to figure it out and i'll show you the best way Like I'm not gonna go, oh, I don't think I like this background color. Let's make it yellow instead. I won't do that. see over there because I'm kind of far away from that side of the painting but it seems good overall yay done okay so we got our background done um next we're just gonna go in and do a base coat of white on the llama so clean out your brushes pause it if you need to so you catch up it's the beauty of video you can go at your own pace just getting my brush cleaned out nice. Dry it off. And just with white paint, you're gonna come in and do, I'm gonna go over like around the mouth area, around the eye area. But just a quick coat all on your llama. And be careful of edges. Um, you might have um, some background paint color still wet. And if you get your white paint on that as you're working it will pull in and you'll end up with you know turquoise in your llama which you can fix easy enough um if that does happen just you know kind of wipe it off with a towel um let it dry 
and then just go right on top of it with white. But you need to let it dry or it'll just keep blending in. Both of the llamas are getting painted white all around. Go around the eyes, around the mouth. So far your steps are the same. Honestly, you guys shouldn't have that much trouble keeping up with me because I'm, well, I have smaller ones, so never mind. Just because like, I'm painting two, I mean, so for the time it takes me to paint two, I feel like I'd probably be able to, you know, get one done. But mine are significantly smaller in size than what you guys have, so I'll probably still be blown by you. Sorry. So I have one done, I'm just gonna show you what you need to do on your edges. So we gotta kind of fluff him out a little, give him some fur, and you're gonna do the same on the Lady Llama. So on your edges, I'll kind of get one painted over here just to show you on both. So we'll just pretend I have it all filled in white. Um, you're just gonna kind of flick, and if you need to use a smaller brush, use a smaller brush, because you using kind of the edge of my brush so it's up and down like this I get some more narrow lines so if I'm painting like this it's a wide line if I paint like this it's a nice narrow line so you want to use the brush on the narrow and you're just going to kind of flick out some little furs you can go all the way down the body It's fluffy, and same with her. And you know, maybe some. I'm gonna address kind of the the hair later on the boy llama. But the lady llama, she's got fluff all the way. Her little fluff is all the way down her. The boy llama, not so much on the head. So she gets nice and fluffy. I need to continue and paint the rest of my girl llama. Girl llama also gets like a little, little tuft of like three little hairs on the head. Boy llama, he gets kind of big old hairs like this and across. These are much bigger. We're gonna add gray into that later so it looks, it looks a little better. But we'll start with this kind of flicking it's got big hairs, big hairs, and then these big hairs on the top. So kind of three big hairs, three big hairs, three big hairs. And then we just carry on and get Lady Llama. I like saying Lady Llama. I don't know why. Finish up the Lady Llama. Get her painted in white. She needs side furs. They're fluffy.
Okay, I think I've got a nice even color of white paint on both of my llamas. Hopefully you guys are about caught up with me. Um, you can feel free to add like a little extra layer of fur in just for better coverage. Especially right where that crisp line where the background has been painted is. Get a little bit more coverage on that. Get his hair a little better. So I don't see so much of the background through it. Another quick coat on top. Maybe her little poofs. So just whatever you like. Just have a good time doing it. So now we're going to add in a little bit of gray. Um, first, we'll do kind of like this, what do you call it? Like the muzzle area, like where the mouth is. So I'm going to make just a very, very light gray. Um, tiny bit of black. You guys are going to probably want, you know, close to the same color. So share or just make your own. It really, I would, I'm going to try to maybe make hers a little bit darker, hers a little lighter, just so she's a little more feminine. So I've got kind of this, it's very light and it does dry darker. And I know it seems very light right now when you're mixing, but it's not gonna seem that light once it's on. So that's probably good for her. Yep. And then you can maybe just darken, darken it. As, oh, that's gonna be a lot. So he can be maybe this darker one. It's just a, sh a little bit lighter. Just a few shades darker. So he's this darker one. You're, well, on him, don't paint this inside part. On her, just go everywhere around this heart in that kind of overly eggy shape. And those little lines that are kind of like this curve, just paint right over those. You can put them back in later. If you're worried, you won't be able to mimic it exactly how I have it there. I'll just take up Sharpie and outline it. It needs to be a permanent marker, otherwise the, it will bleed into your paint and be a mess. So take that into consideration. I have learned this the hard way. I should probably have switched to a smaller brush because this is pretty little on the small canvas. And for her, I'm gonna switch and use that lighter gray. Where is it, regular? Get this all filled in. And if you wanna do it in the same gray, whatever, that's fine you want. Don't worry about it being just like mine. It won't be just like mine. If I painted this again, it wouldn't be just like mine. Every time you, I paint it, it's always slightly different. Colors don't come out the same. And there's no sense in stressing yourself out over details that just don't really matter. Just have a good time doing it. About the process, not the product. Okay, so I've got her pretty good. Um, on him, he has um gray inside of the ears, so. Just take your gray, I don't know, the darker, the lighter, whatever one, doesn't matter. And I'm just gonna kind of brush it inside the ears here. So I've got the little ears going on. The girl, Lady Llama, hers do not have gray. Hers are going to be pink and I'll show you that later. Right now, just hang out. Um, let's see, what else does the Boy Llama have? Boy Llama has gray in his hair. So, 
let us kind of create like a bit of a part. And then from there, we're just gonna kind of streak it out like this on that side. And it parts this way. He's kind of nerdy. And if you get too much on, so like there, I'm like, mm, maybe a little too much gray. Just take some white right on your brush. Just go right on top of it. And it just kind of chills it out. I'm gonna have it come down on his forehead a little bit more. And then just take some white. I'm just gonna streak it on top. I'm gonna maybe make a little bit darker version of gray. Just, just a little tiny bit darker and just put in a few little wisps of the darker gray. He's got quite the head of hair. <laughs> it's hilarious. Okay, um, Lady Llama, we are gonna put a little bit of gray. Um, how about like the chin, so our light gray. This can be you, you guys pay attention now. Lady Llamas, I'm gonna do the swoop of the neck. And then I'm just gonna put some fur down. So I have my gray lines on, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of white. And with my gray, it's a little bit lighter. And just put in yeah, a few more little fur. Just kind of down the neck. He doesn't need that because he's got a bow. So we won't put in that extra detail on him just so it doesn't get too busy. What else do we need? <laughs> um, okay, so let's do some black because we both have black to do. So we're gonna do the eyes. You're gonna want a smaller brush. Um, both of you guys have black eyes. So just take your time and fill in those eye shapes. I'm just plain black paint. And just take your time to get those lines nice and smooth. Looks kind of evil. Very creepy right now. Yikes. That one just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Sometimes it's better just to leave it alone. Creepy llama. Um, boy llama, your nose is black. Lady llama, leave yours alone. It's going to be pink. I'm going to try to make this one look more like a boy and that one more like a girl. Also, boy llama, the space in between the, in the muzzle kind of area that I told you not to paint gray, you're now going to paint that black. Gosh, this looks terrifying. <laughs> Super creepy. Yikes. I swear it will look better. I'm hoping. I mean, I don't really know because I haven't painted it yet, but I think it will look better. Also take your um, black paint, Boy Llama, and connect the nose to this little point. So just like a little line down. Try to keep it thin. I'm gonna go over and paint Girl Llama. I got eyes to do. 
got to flip it just so I can reach better. So don't freak out that mine doesn't look like that. I hope it doesn't. It's just upside down. Fear not. Sometimes the shape gets weird. Here off just a little, especially because mine is so small. If mine gets like off just even the tiniest bit, it will look weird. It's not as forgiving as a larger canvas. Okay, so we got our black done as far as the eyes go here. Um, Lady Llama, you have that mouth line also. A little bit of black paint. Um, we painted over it with our gray. We can't really see it, but it's just like a, two little swoops left. One's left, one's right. I can actually see mine still. A thinner brush probably would have been more ideal. There's that. Hey, let's see. Lady Llama, Boy Llama, you just hang out. We're going to do some pink for the Lady Llama. We are going to take a scoop of white. Tiniest bit of red, teeny tiny bit of red, and start mixing that into the white. Does not take much at all. Be a little bit more. It's easier to add more than try to lighten it back up. We're going to do nose pink and inside of the ears pink. So ears, let's just kind of go up the side here. And just kind of brush up. Same with this side. So we've got our ear. And I'll switch to a smaller brush and do the nose. Just take a little bit of my pink. Oh, I got black in it. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna stir it on in. The brush just wasn't that clean. It's taped together, canvases. I just use painter tape to tape them together. And they flip-flop on me. It's kind of annoying. I'm going to make that a little bit darker. Because the contrast between the, the gray and the pink is not really working for me. I need a little bit more red in my pink. Just so I can see my edge better. But there we go. And boy llama, we're going to do a bow. Uh, I'm not sure what color. What color do we want to do the bow? You can do whatever color you want, honestly. Um, I'll go orange. Why not? So to make orange, a little bit of yellow and red. So let me say it in the right order. Let me just take a little bit of red on my brush. Stir it over with quite a bit of yellow. I have this nice orangey color. So if I just use that, it's really transparent and awful. So I'm going to take a nice scoop of white and stir that in as well. 
And then we can adjust it if we want it more orange, just add a little bit more red to it. It's, it's very yellow orange right now. So just more red, slowly add more red till you get the shade of orange that you're happy with. I'm gonna keep mine fairly yellowy because I like it. Just make sure, sure you mix up enough to fill in the whole bow tie. I'm just make sure I have enough. Don't really need this color for anything else. Um, Lady Llama might need some when we do the little flower. But it doesn't need to be the exact same color, so no worries. So I'm just gonna go in and paint my bow. It's a nice thin even coat. Let's get it all covered. And it still doesn't have the best coverage. When you're using yellow, it's just a hard color. It's very transparent. blend a little bit of white in with that so just on my dirty brush take a little white on there and just kind of smooth it through not a lot it takes just a smidge and it kind of helps clean up brush strokes and even out the color okay so boy llama continue on with your bow tie you're gonna do that same process, paint each piece orange, and before you move on to the next piece, just blend a little white through it. So I want just a little white. You just blend it through. Fabulous. Okay, I'm gonna stop, you keep on, and then I'm gonna show Lady Lama how to do her, her little rosette. We're gonna do a nice bright pink to start, basically red. So, tiny bit of white in with red, nice bright pink. And we're gonna just start with kind of this blobby shape. It can be as big or as small as you want. Mine's gonna be fairly big in size. I'm gonna try to keep it over to this right hand side. I just kind of curvy around the edges. She's got this nice, great big flower on her head. And we're just going to work in layers. So I want to lighten my pink. Um, I'm not a white on my plate. I'm going to have to go get another squirt. So just add some white in, get a lighter shade. I should probably be using a smaller brush just so I can get better detail, but I'm just gonna layer on and just kind of do like little squirrel swoopy lines. I don't know if you can see the difference in color on the camera or not. But I don't fill in the whole thing. I just, I leave some of the darker color showing. I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush. And then again, I need lighter pink, so some white. So every layer we put on, we're just gonna go lighter in pink. So this, so I had the bright, 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 almost red pink, this nice pink that's kind of, I don't know, like watermelony color. And then this one that's going to be quite light, almost the nose color and swooping on this is kind of some wiggly lines. Layering. And then the last layer is just going to be plain white. And I do need to get a little on my, on my plate because I'm out. 
it's destroyed. I mixed too many other colors in it. <coughs> Excuse me. So just with my white. Again, same, same process. Just some little swirly kind of ripply lines. Throughout, we have our little rose there. We need to give little leaves. In the make green, we're gonna use yellow, a touch of turquoise, and a bunch of white. And this nice light green. And then you do need lots of white in it, otherwise it's not gonna do any coverage on the color behind it. And I'll we'll just put in maybe, I don't know. How about we do a little leaf here? Another one that kind of comes off of it. There's two over there. And how about one that comes up here on the ear? Then I'm gonna add just a little bit more of my turquoise color. That's a lot, just a tiny bit in. Well, maybe a little bit more. So we have a little bit of a darker green. It almost still looks turquoise, that's fine. And I'm just gonna brush a little on the top of each one of my leaves. I have a little uh, light green little glob that I ran into. So there we have our flower. Very cute. Okay, I'm gonna finish up the bow tie. It's this orange, almost done. Hopefully you guys aren't sitting there waiting on me too long. You're home, you're in the comfort of your own home, so that's nice. You can go get a snack or something. Have a beverage. Okay, a little bit of white blended in. Oops, that was a lot. Sorry. I'll roll with it. Okay, so we have our bow tie and our little flower. Um, I feel like Girl Llama is pretty much done other than eyelashes. You're going to want a nice long skinny brush for this. And Thin out your paint. I add just some water in my paint and stir it. If you tilt your plate up like this and it runs, you have way too much water. You just want to kind of make your paint a little bit more fluid. It just really makes outlining and making detail lines a lot easier. The paint flows. So for eyelashes, I'm going to make some cute like uh, curly Q ones. This brush has got a split hair. It's gonna drive me nuts. Sorry, I'm just going to get a skinny brush and find it. Okay, sorry. That one just kept splitting on me earlier today, and I, I didn't want that to happen. So for the eyelashes, top one's gonna be good and long and curly. So right off the edge of this eye here, I got my little sheet picture reference. And just kind of bring it around. So she's got a nice curly cue. The one beneath it, I'll do just a small lash. 
And then the one under it is going to be long and curly again. She fancy. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Ideally, they would be, you know, symmetrical, the same on both sides, but that's a lot of pressure. We're just going to pray for the best here. So top lash, long and curly. Second lash, kind of short. And then the bottom lash, I'll do long and curly. So they're not exactly the same, but they're, you know, similar. I'm happy with that. Um, boy Llama, let's see. Let's give you some teeth. <laughs> I'm gonna just put like two little itty bitty white teeth at the bottom. This is gonna make him look so cute. I'm using a small kind of square brush, just a little bit of white paint. I might even want a smaller brush because my mouth is tiny. Huh, whatever, I'm just gonna go with it. And a little tooth here. <laughs> I'm gonna put two. Oh, that one is hilarious. And then this one's gonna be just a little bit taller. Right beside it, a little gap in between. That's so cute. <laughs> okay, um, we're going to put highlights in our eyes. Right now they look super creepy. So, it's going to be pretty similar for both. So I'm going to do the boy llama first. Uh, pretty big kind of spot at the top. Top left. And two little dots kind of under. On the other eye, I'm gonna stick with the top left. A little kind of a bigger spot. And then two little dots under. Wow, that is creepy. It does look better. When I get further away, it looks better right on it. Terrifying. Okay, I'll put a little highlight on the nose. Uh, Girl Llama, let's do your eye reflective light. I've got some black that's wet from my eyelashes. I'm just going to blow that dry real quick. Okay. So I can do reflective light in the eyes. It's left side, just a little bit of a smoosh here, and a little dot. Green. Kind of the bigger on um, this here, and just a little dot. But she's pretty. And a little reflective kind of swoop on the nose, like we did the boy llama. I think she's done. She looks pretty good. Maybe kind of come in and kind of refill in some of my white where I'm seeing the background kind of show through on the edge. Um, feel free to do that. Just kind of fluff out some more. Um, boy Llama, we still need to kind of decorate your bow tie and give you some glasses. So this. That's pretty good. Okay, so polka dots on the bow tie, boy llama, just with white paint. We will get one here. These might need more than one coat. I'll just do one coat. Feel free to go back in and do a second. Have some kind of go off the edge. Um, the 
center of the bow, we could do polka dots. And then one come off the side. And you could do a different pattern. You probably already started your dots by now, but you could have done stripes or something or changed up and on a different color. If you do want these to be a different color, I do recommend you paint them white first just because the orange is going to show through some. So maybe we just kind of like reprime them by painting them white. So if I wanted them to be at this point maybe red, um, you get a couple layers of white on so you have a nice good coverage of that orange. And then you can paint the red on top and it'll look nice and bright. So I do recommend two coats of white on those polka dots. I'm just going to skip ahead for now because you want to dry in between coats. And do, we're going to put some glasses on him. Um, I guess we're going to do red. So medium brush. So we're going to start with just a line across. That will be enough, right? We'll see how this goes. <laughs> I'm just gonna use red paint, medium. Maybe I should even use my smaller brush. Cause mine is a lot smaller than what you're working on. Am I gonna be able to get in? No, yeah. Small brush. I'm using a small brush. You could probably easily get away with a medium width. I just don't want my line to be too wide. I wanna be able to fit in here. And it's such a small space on my small canvas. But that probably isn't gonna work too well. So straight across, I am going to put a line for the top of the glasses. I'm going to go above the eye a little bit onto the hair, basically. Just do my best to stay straight. Fix it up a little. Let's go out past the head, one of the ways. And then I'm gonna swoop it down. I probably need to come out a little bit more on the ends. And I'm going to swoop it down and make semicircles from the bottom. I want to look at the letter D, I guess, or the letter U. U makes more sense. Oops. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I'll try to get the same distance from the nose. Come down the same so that it's level. This does need to come out a smidge more. So I need to come up. Just it a little. And then between the glasses, I'm just gonna put like a little nose branch. So I'm gonna just put like a little curve in between. And now he has dorky little glasses on. Super cute. I'm going to put a little highlight on them. Just taking a little white paint on my brush. 
Ideally, I probably should wait for this to dry, but I'm not the most patient individual. And I'm just gonna kind of streak a little bit of white on the top there. Come across the top. And maybe a little down the side. You can do maybe a little on the side, across the bridge. Here, I think, I think we're done. Maybe we could outline the bow just a smidge. I'm gonna use the same um, red. Red with a little water stirred in. Just to thin out my paint a little. And then just give that bow a little bit of an outline. Especially in these areas here. Outlining is a pain in the butt. Oh, this is so cute. And um, feel free when you're finished with your outline to kind of go back over some of those little side furs on the body to kind of get, because you can see clearly where the background started and the body where we put those furs on just to kind of cover that like stark line. Oh, nice. Weird little bump there. Kind of awkward with this easel. What else? Um, second coat of white on the dots if you want. I'm gonna call her good, just because I don't need the video to be, you know, four gigabytes in size for uploading. It takes ten years. Um, sign your names if you like. You could date it. Whatever makes you happy. I'm calling mine good. Um, hope you had a good time painting this together and. I'll see you in the next video.